Because one goes to muscle, the other one goes to... Well, what does it matter? It ultimately always goes to blood. No. I mean, why don't, why don't I just take the smallest needle possible, make a little bubble in the skin, and hopefully it'll seep right in? Why is it that we have three different types of injections? Let me draw you a quick diagram, and uh, then we'll done with it. We'll go straight to the demonstration, and we'll call it quits for, the, uh, for this lecture, okay? So, you know, here's what we have, right? In the human body, ultimately, everything always goes into the blood, right? Mm -hmm. So we have a blood vessel, and here we have blood. Above blood vessel sits a layer, and this layer is muscle. Above muscle sits fat, and above fat sits skin. Skin, by, by the way, has uh, uh, three layers. One, two, and three. Epiderm, epiderm. Epidermis, epidermis, dermis, and, and subcutaneous layer. Okay, so we have these three layers. Dermis is the guy that's, that's alive. Epidermis is dead tissue. That's the stuff that sits on top. All right, that protects a protective, uh, creates a protective barrier. And subcutaneous, uh, you know, uh, layer is you have your oil glands and uh, hair follicles sitting in there, you know, that sort of stuff, okay? That really doesn't matter. So, ointments and various rubs go on top, okay? You may have seen, if you dealt with the elderly, sometimes you see them, they have patches. Oh, ladies, birth control patches, right? Ever see those? Yeah. Ever have those? Yeah. All right, a lot of, uh, a lot of uh, young women of childbearing age prefer to have that instead of swallowing pills. They take a patch, okay? Uh, older people with heart trouble wear nitroglycerin patches. You may have seen those. So administration of medication like that uh, also works. It just takes time. So the question is, look at these layers that we have until we have blood. Ultimate goal is to get to the blood, right? So if I take a needle and I put the medication into the skin somewhere, it'll take all this time to trickle into the blood. If I want to go a little bit faster, I will put my needle into the fat, and that's we have a shorter route. Then, if I want it to go even faster, but not directly into the blood, I will put it into the muscle, and ultimately, it'll filter in there. If I want the fastest administration of medication, I will go intravenous, or into the vein, and boom, I don't have any travel time. Medication doesn't have to trickle in anywhere. But some medications cannot be given in a big, what they call bolus, in a big push right into the blood. It has to go slower. So some medications that need to go over a prolonged period of time go further up on the skin. Then lower, 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 and lower, and lower to, towards the blood. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. That's it. There's nothing else. Everything else from here is a demonstration. And since I already have my <coughs> class uh, demonstrator, we're good to go. We're going to start with an intradermal uh, uh, one, which is the one that you will do the most of, okay? Make sense? So, I'll give you some examples. For example, uh, into the muscle, we have most of the vaccines go into the muscle tissue, okay? Fatty tissue, stuff like insulin, hormones, okay? Uh, into the skin, usually allergy testing stuff, testing stuff, because body is designed to react to allergens that strike us from the outside, so it makes sense for all of our allergy receptors or our immune system to be right on top over there. So it screens out everything that's supposed to come into the body and kill it, or at least notify the body to kill it later on, right? So that's why, you know, our skin turns these blotchy colors if you eat something, you know, hives, ever have those? Mm -hmm. Why do you think that happens to your skin? Because the skin reacts. It's your fine, you know, it's your primary uh, organ system that detects allergies uh, or disease-causing microorganisms and try to kill them. Make sense? Yes. 
All right, so without further ado, let's go straight into the uh, demonstration and then practice.